Welcome you all to Math Bridges One with Math. In this video, we will see about the Indian mathematicians who made significant early contributions to the study of math concepts based on cultural perspectives and allow the students to reflect and appreciate our culture and traditions. Here, we see the math behind the forms of Lord Vishnu and Lord Shiva. Lord Vishnu is the god of preservation. Vishnu is generally depicted with four arms, carrying his four attributes, or we can call it to be as four toads. You can see here, namely Panchajanya or Shank, Sudarshana Chakra, Chakra, Kaumodaki, which is Gada, and next it is Padma Lotus. These are the four tools of a good leader. It is to communicate to review, reward and to punish. In the ancient shlokas also, it's been said, Shenka Chakra Gada Padma Vanamala Vibhushitam Pitambaradhara Devam Vande Vishnum Chatur Bhujam means he is with four bhujas, having four attributes. When we arrange these four ayudas of Lord Mahavishnu, Shenka Chakra Gada Padma, we will get 24 forms. You can see here the picture. This 24 forms of Lord Vishnu together is known as Chatur Vimshadi. It's given in our Puranas. Only these four weapons or the four tools and different forms when we arrange will get this. All these 24 forms of Lord Vishnu, Keshava, Narayana, Madhava, Govinda, Vishnu and so on. You can see the arrangement of the tools. Shenka, Chakra, Gada, Padma. When these are like this arrangement, back right, back left, front left and front right, he is known as Keshava. Similarly, Padma, Ghada, Chakra, Shanka, then Narayana. So, all the arrangement of the weapons has been given and the names also. And reciting these names, knowing their meaning is highly considered to be as auspicious. Now, coming to Lord Shiva, he is known as the savior or the embodiment of salvation. Shiva is unique in that he has 10 arms. Usually, Shiva does not have more than 4 arms in sculpture. But he is having five faces. As per our Vedas, it's considered that he is having five faces. That means two arms, five to two, ten arms he is having. The five faces relate Shiva to the classical elements, the directions, the five senses and the five parts of the body. Now see, what are the attributes of Lord Shiva? Nose, which is called to be as Pash, Gaur, Ankush. It is made up of elephant's tusk, snake, sarp drum which is known as damaru kapal which is used as a bowl in his hand spear it is shul club katwang it is an ayut made of a thigh bone topped up with a skull missile shakti an arrow shar and a bow which is known as tanush so lord shiva is having 10 attributes or the 10 tools we can see the pictures of uh, the attributes, 10 attributes of Lord Shiva over here. As I could not find the picture with the 10 tools in his hands, differently I could find out. So you can see Pash, Ankush, Khatwanga, Pinaka, it is a Danush, Snake, Sarp, Pashupatastra, Spear, which is known as Trishul, Sharanga, it's a bow, Drum, Damaru, and Skull, Kapal. These are the 10 attributes. The problem on permutations and combinations. What we have seen in the previous slides, it was given by long back, some 700 years ago. It was given by a great mathematician Bhaskaracharya II in a book called Leelavati. Bhaskaracharya had composed this book in 1150 AD to teach mathematics to his daughter Leelavati, after whom the book has been named. This book which is written entirely, it covers algebra, geometry, mensuration, arithmetic topics and also number theory and other basic topics. Now here you can see the shloka. It is Pashan Kushahi Damaruka Kapala Sholai Khatwanga Shakti Shara Chapa Yuthair Bhavanti Anyonyaha Hasta Kalitai Kati Murti Bedaha Shambo Hari River Gadari Saroj Shankai so the, that means in how many variations of form of God, Lord Shiva are possible, 
by arrangement in different ways of 10 items the 10 attributes what we have seen similarly for lord vishnu also in how many different ways the four attributes the four weapons can be arranged so it's a mathematical problem based on bhaskaracharya srilavati in how many different forms we can arrange the given combination of objects in each of their hands now let's see mathematically how it goes on we will see mathematically in how many different ways only two objects can be arranged we will start with the smaller number two objects suppose we take a and b are two objects instead of attributes like the weapons or the tools we are taking a and b so that we understand better so in how many different ways we can arrange a is mapped to b that means a b and b a that means you can see here two one that means two into one in two ways we can arrange that means it is two factorial which is equals to 2 into 1, two ways we can arrange. Now let's see in how many different ways we can arrange three objects. Given A, B, C are the three objects. So if you see on the screen, you can make out A to B, C we are mapping. So again B to C. So we will get it to be as A, B, C. Similarly A to C and C to B. First we are attributing to two. Next we are mapping it to single. So we are getting here A, C, B. Similarly, B to A, A to C. That means B, A, C we are getting the objects. And here we will get B, C, A. Next C, A, B and C, B, A. So in how many different ways we have arranged? You can see here we got 3 here. And here 2 in each one. And again 1 in each. When we multiply all this, 3 into 2 into 1 which is equals to 6. That means it is 3 factorial which is equals to 3 into 2 into 1. That means... When we take three objects, we can arrange it in six ways. You can see here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now let's take four objects in what way it can be arranged. I want you all to observe the pattern. When we get two objects, how we are getting three objects and four objects. Uh, so on. Now let's see. Let the four objects be A, B, C, D. And A, it's been mapped to the objects B, C, D. And B to C, D. Similarly, C to B, D. And D to B, C. And again C to D and D to C. Now, if you see here A, B, C, D. Similarly, A, B, D, C. Now coming here, we will get it to be as A, C, B, D. And next A, C, D, B. So 4 we are getting here. Now, coming over here, A, D, B, C. Next A, D, C, B. So how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. For this only A, when it's been arranged, we got 6 different forms. It's been arranged. And similarly for B, C, D also we'll be getting 6, 6, 6. So how we'll be getting, let's see here, 4. It's been mapped to 3 objects. Again 2 objects. Here 1 object. So when we multiply, 4, 3s are 12, 12, 2s are 24. So that means... It will be arranged in four factorial ways. When we are taking four objects, in how many different ways we will arrange? We can arrange it in four factorial, which is equals to 24 ways. So what did we conclude from this? So in how many different ways objects can be arranged in order? It is n factorial, which is equals to n into n minus 1, into n minus 2, into n minus 3, and so on. So, if we take 4 factorial, it is 4 into 3 into 2 into 1, which is equals to 23 ways we can arrange. Similarly, 6 factorial, 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1, which is 720 ways we can arrange. Similarly, and so on, if we take 10 factorial, it can be arranged. When you multiply all this, 10 into 9 into 8 into 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1, we will get this number. 36 lakhs, 28,800 ways we can arrange. As per the discussion, uh, in how many different ways Lord Shiva's 10 attributes can be arranged? That is, Pasha, Ankusha, Sarpa, Damaru, Kapala, Shula, Khatwanga, Shakti, Shara and Chapa. It can be arranged in 10 factorial ways which is equals to 36,28,800 ways. Amazing! These many forms of Lord Shiva. And this picture which you can see on the screen, it is idol of Lord Shiva with 10 hands. Very rarely we will find and it is at Chennakeshwa temple at Belur in Karnataka. 
and as per the same shloka the last line the forms of uh, vishnu lord vishnu in how many different ways we got it as shanka chakra gada padma only four attributes is having so it is how many different ways it can be arranged as per the pattern we have seen in the previous slides it's four factorial which is equals to 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 that means 24 ways that's why the 24 namas of lord vishnu we are using and it's been used in sandhya vandana also this is a chenna kesava temple at belur which is in karnataka it is one of the best preserved temples of the hoysala dynasty of karnataka which was built in 12th century it's believed that bhaskaracharya too visited this temples and he was very much fascinated by looking at the architecture of this chenna kesava temple on the walls of this chenna kesava temple you can see here lord shiva with 10 arms and also the 24 forms of lord vishnu is been carved over here on the temple walls looking at this he got the idea that the combination the permutations and combination which he has mentioned in his book and also as a shloka uh, this is uh, rani ki vaav which is in gujarat which is located on the banks of the river saraswati uh this was initially built as a memorial to a king in the 11th century ad this it's an inverted temple after chenna keshava temple this is the temple where you can find the 24 forms of lord vishnu as we discussed with four different tools in four arms like keshava madhava narayana govinda and so on many thing they have been uh, given all the 24 forms of lord vishnu in this temple it's highly fascinating and children should know about this one where we can correlate this one with the social and also they can appreciate our mathematicians and the work done by them you can give some examples for the children based on the uh, arrangement permutations here see one example in how many ways can the letters of the word water be arranged so that we have a new pattern every time count first how many words are there in this 1 2 3 4 5 So obviously it is five factorial. That is five into four into three into two into one. This is in 120 ways you can arrange. This can be correlated with an English activity also, where the children can form new words. And please to ensure that there is no repetition over here. It's a very important point. I've taken it to be as a, a basic one, not to a higher level. You can consider an example based on sports or based on science, whatever you feel. is apt for the students here's an example based on sports the bowling league has eight players so in how many ways are they to line up the bowlers so it is eight factorial which is 8 into 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 that means it is 40320 ways it can be arranged i hope you all find the video to be interesting and liked it hope you all will share the knowledge thank you all for watching the video